lot of tough decisions Barack's going to have to make. A lot of very tough decisions, including on foreign policy. And here's the point I want to make. Mark my words. Mark my words. It will not be six months before the world tests Barack Obama like they did John Kennedy. The world is looking. We're about to elect a brilliant 27-year-old President of the United States of America. Remember I said standing here, you don't remember anything else I said. Watch, we're going to have an international crisis, generated crisis, to test the metal of this guy. And he's going to have to make some really tough, I don't know what the decision's going to be, but I promise you it will occur. As a student of history, and having served with seven presidents, I guarantee you it's going to happen. I can give you at least four or five scenarios from where it might originate. If you were called into the Oval Office on January 21st by the new president, whoever it happens to be, and he said to you, General Powell, I need from you your recommendation on where I began. What should be my priorities? Where would you start? I would start with talking to the American people and talking to the world and conveying a new image of American leadership, a new image of America's role in the world. The problems will always be there, and there's going to be a crisis come along on the 21st or 22nd of January that we don't even know about right now. The problems will always be there, and there's going to be a crisis come along on the 21st or 22nd of January that we don't even know about right now. Watch, we're going to have an international crisis. Generated crisis. There's going to be a crisis come along on a generated crisis. going to be a crisis come along and a generated crisis uniquely american isn't it i mean that is fantastic that you're yeah. doing that